Good morning, Schlock fans. It's Morgan coming to you with, I don't even really remember which daily Schlock this is. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, but uh, heading into work, I've actually been to the shop and then gone and got parts. And now I'm heading back to the shop. I gotta stop though and get some ethanol free gas uh, to have at the shop and for my bikes. Um, and honestly, like the biggest bonus to the whole coronavirus COVID-19 thing is the gas prices are way, way, way less than they were before. Um, getting ethanol free 91 octane for like two something now. So that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a good day guys. We got a ton going on as always. It's uh, craziness in the motorcycle world, which I love and makes me so happy. Uh, I don't even really remember what we got going on today, but there's a lot of it. So I'm gonna get some gas and then we're gonna get on with the daily schlag. Ha <laughs> ha mail time guys, back at the shop. And I am stoked. We got coffee. Arbuckle's coffee. Super, super stoked. I don't know who sent it to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I cannot say thank you enough. I'm really, really stoked. I'm gonna be trying this out actually right about now because it's cold this morning. It's like 19 degrees. I know that's not that cold in the grand scheme of things, but when you're like prepared for spring and for it to be hot, that's cold. Um, yeah, super stoked. I've actually had Arbuckle's coffee before. My wife brought some back from uh, Tucson one time uh, on one of her trips for work. So I am stoked. I don't think I had this one. It was a different, uh, you know, different actual coffee blend. So super stoked. Thank you guys so much. We got a ton of stuff to check in. Anyway, whatever. Gotta check parts in, then I gotta get after it. I'm gonna fix that KX100 first thing this morning uh, since, well, I don't know. I might do a customer's thing first, but I gotta get that 100 fixed because my little kid is dying to ride it um, and it won't take very long. I'll show you guys how we do that and like what all went wrong and anyway. So yeah, let's get after this. All right, so while that <coughs> water's heating up, I found out that we have more mail time. Super excited about these uh, from BDP Racing. I'll put a link in the description for those guys. Sent me these uh, super cool anodized uh, axle blocks for my Kid 65. So I'm gonna be installing those hopefully soon. Um, there's a lot of craziness going on. And uh, the kid is now <laughs> only wanting to ride his 100 so he may not ride it much, but we'll get those on. I guess you gotta do chain sprockets on that bike soon. Um, the cool thing about that bike and the fact that now uh, my kid is off of it, it is now open for teaching other kids how to ride. Um, no, I'm not gonna sell it. I want to do what I say I've been wanting to do with the gospel two wheels and get other people out riding and teach kids how to ride, teach adults how to ride. So that's actually gonna be the first bike in our fleet of bikes to show kids how to ride. Um, super excited about that. So thank you BDP Racing. We'll get those mounted up here really soon and do a video on just how to install them and what they look like and all that. Um, this coffee's about ready guys. So we're gonna get after it here. Finally pour another cup of optimism for Zach and I and we will get after it. By the way, Zach's over there toiling, toiling away on the TTR or 230, whatever that thing is, toiling. Okay, so I got parts checked in, got things done. I still gotta pack up some things to ship out, but I wanna get this done really fast so that I can get on to bigger and better projects. Um, well, not better, but other projects for customers. So here we are, we're back with the KX100, my son's KX100. The shift star bolt backed out and got that loose. It's, it's in there now, but anyway. So, if you haven't watched the video, I'll put a card right up here of us uh, fiddling with it on the trail and stuff like that. So, anyway, I can't get it into his home where it needs to be uh, without uh, taking this cover off. So, I'm going to take this cover off. Well, actually, I might try real fast now that I have it upright and I can actually see and get the oil out of it. I might give it a shot. So, let me try it real fast. If it doesn't work, then 
I'm gonna take the cover off so I can pull the the shift shaft out then I can get that in there and be all good to go but we'll give it a shot Aha, now I know why I was having a hard time. <laughs> okay. So, quick explanation as to what this does. This is, I call it the shift star. Um, the shift detent is another word for it. Anyway, this is the thing that bolts to the shift drum, which is in here. And that shift drum is what uh, is what makes the transmission shift gears. Uh, I promised you guys a video on how a transmission works. I will do that eventually. I just have been super busy, and that's going to take a while to like set up and make like actually be a good video. Uh, but I will get it done. I promise. <clears throat> anyway, these star things are what roll around and then hold the bike in a certain gear. Otherwise, you just you can actually just turn that shift drum no problem with uh, anything and it'll just shift gears willy-nilly so this is what uh, keeps it in place so I figured out now why I was having such a hard time getting it in is that I didn't have the right hole lined up you see that hole right there is actually the hole that this nub <clears throat> goes into and since it was covered in oil yesterday while I was trying to fiddle with it I couldn't figure that out so now we need to figure out, ooh, look at that. There we go. There's neutral. Let's see if we can get that in there. Oh, that may be it right there. I think we're winning. That's awesome. So now, we've got to get the bolt that goes in it. This is good. Less, disassemb less disassembly is better. Now, we're going to dry this bolt off. Now we're gonna try to dry the hole out as well we can. Um, might be a little bit tough, but we're gonna do our best. Some red Loctite, because we don't want this coming out again. Mainly, it's not the end of the world, but it ruined our day. There we go. So see, I can rotate that and it'll shift, we're shifting gears, right? But it's not staying anywhere. <clears throat> Even with the shift fork, because it's made to be able to move. Uh, anyway, so, go all the way, nice and tight. There we go. Now we gotta put the actual like detent thing in. It goes right in here. There it is. Little wheel is gonna roll. I'll show you guys how that works here in a second. It's gonna be kind of hard to film, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> do it. I'm gonna put this here. If it looks good, it looks good. If not, I'll show you when we get done. So there we go. Everything is back together. This thing should work perfectly now. I gotta put the clutch in, but. <laughs> uh, so you see that little bump? That is always the neutral bump. So it's in between two gears because actually between any of these things is a neutral. Um, that's just how the transmissions work. But that is the neutral we're looking for. So we can turn that. Doesn't turn the, doesn't try to turn the wheel. So we're good to go. Now we can reinstall the clutch, <clears throat> put the clutch cover back on, pour oil back in it, and we'll test it and make sure it's all good. All right, so it's been crazy, guys, and here we have our friend Andrew again. <laughs> but this is not his bike uh, that he's having problems with. But, so if you haven't watched our FCR carburetor video, you should, and I'll put a card here so you can see that. Um, but look at look what happens when you leave things for too long. See that? 
that green, that's what old gas turns into. Turns into that green, weird, solid varnish. Yuck. And so Andrew is down here because he's trying to help a friend out uh, who's this, this is his friend's carburetor, who clearly makes bad life decisions but <laughs> because it's a four stroke <laughs> and he lets it sit for a long, long time. So poor life decisions, but that's okay. Um, and probably more than just that, but we won't go into that. So we also won't mention who it is. <laughs> so he's got the mid body gasket, the bolts out. There's also bolts in here and we are going to take those out, but those go on to a different part. So this should, if we give it some love, come apart. There we go. There we go. That is what is wrong with this machine. <laughs> like, see that? Like, that's a hole right there that you can't see anymore. There's holes over here. It's just gnarly. So, all this needs to come apart and go in the ultrasonic which it's gonna and then you can see that ugh. don't let your bike sit for two years with gas in it yeah there we go that's the takeaway two years is too long for your bike to sit with gas in it if you just drain the gas out you'd be all right so these bolts are not wanting to come out guys because it's been sitting for so long it's just gnarly so we're gonna do a sweet sweet trick hopefully here andrew hold the camera all right, so when you've got a rounded Allen, which these are getting ready to round up, nice sharp little torch bit like that, that's about the right size. Put it down in there. Don't have to go crazy on a tiny one. There we go. Here, check that out. See that? So that's a happy thing. So I'm just going to start with that on this one. And honestly, the tapping of it in there, a lot of times is what it takes to break it loose. Like, the jarring of the threads a lot of times really helps to get that stuff loose. <laughs> yeah. 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 So one more look at everything. Watch out. We'll just edit that out. <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't, I don't care. You don't have to edit that out. The, uh, look at that. It's like sticky. It's got dirt on it because it's sticky. Ugh. And look at Zach's doing. He's, is Zach, are you having fun? Oh, yeah. Are you still removing tank or installing Putting tank? Nice. Tank's going back on. 150. What was it? Carburetor. So here's another bike that has sat for too long. Not nearly as long as that other one, but look at this. It's got, that's bird poop. <laughs> that's bird poop. You should not have bird poop on your dirt bikes, people. No bird poop on the dirt bikes. I'm against that, 100% against that. Right on guys, thank you so much for joining me for another schlag. Oh, the response has been so great. You guys are so cool. I just love doing these videos. Thank you so much. Um, we obviously have just a ton to do. <laughs> uh, interesting thing on that uh, TTR 230. Let me see, let me show you real fast before we shut all the way down. I gotta get home, but so, Zach cleaned the carburetor, did all the stuff on two of them. One of them ran great. This one was running great. And then all of a sudden it wasn't running great. So I pulled up on my lift really fast to kind of check a couple things. And if you look right in there, ha, that was torn. 
it wasn't torn that bad. It actually you could barely even tell it was torn while Zach was working on it, but it was just acting lean. I checked the jets anyway. They were all still clean like he had done, and then I found that. So there, a little bit of something to check on. Um, yeah, guys, I love you. Get out, spread the gospel two wheels. If you think we're doing a good job and you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot. Also, I got to get this haircut. 3,000 subscribers and we shave the head. And I need that done. My wife needs that done. So, um, what else? I think that's it. I love you. Like I said before, get out, spread the gospel two wheels. And please, 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 just... Go ride your dirt bikes!